Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from the nations to give thanks to your holy name and to make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we continue our week of prayer for Christian unity, again we'll offer a Mass praying for that particular grace. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend with favor to the prayers of your people, we ask, O Lord, and grant that the hearts of believers may be united in your praise and in repentance together, so that with the vision among Christians overcome, we may hasten with joy to your eternal kingdom in the perfect communion of the Church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, God is not unjust. He will not overlook your work and the love that you showed for his sake in serving the saints as you still do. And we want each of you, each one of you, to show the same diligence so as to realize the full assurance of hope to the very end, so that you may not become sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. When God made a promise to Abraham because he had no one greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and multiply you. And thus Abraham, having patiently endured, obtained the promise. Human beings, of course, swear by someone greater than themselves, and an oath given as confirmation puts an end to all dispute. In the same way, when God desired to show even more clearly to the heirs of the promise the unchangeable character of his purpose, he guaranteed it by an oath so that through two unchangeable things in which it is impossible that God would prove false, we who have taken refuge might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope set before us. We have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters the inner shrine behind the curtain where Jesus a forerunner on our behalf has entered, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. God is ever mindful of his covenant. God, God is, is ever, ever mindful. mindful of his covenant. I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them. God is ever mindful of his covenant. He has gained renown by his wonderful deeds. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He is ever mindful of his covenant. God is ever mindful of his covenant. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. God is ever mindful of his covenant. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our heart, that we might see how great is the hope to which we are called. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory be to, to you, Lord. Lord. One Sabbath, Jesus and his disciples were going through the grain fields. And as they made their way, the, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. The Pharisees said to him, Look, why are you doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need of food? He entered the house of God when Abiathar was the high priest and ate the bread of the presence, which it is not lawful for any but the priests to eat. And he gave some to his companions. Then Jesus said to them, The Sabbath was made for people, not people for the Sabbath. The Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord, in the letter to the Hebrews, reminds us that God wanted to reveal his unchangeable purpose, the character of his purpose. The Old Testament foreshadows the great gift of the Holy Eucharist. And that our Lord, through not so much by word, but by his actions, pointed towards those moments in the Old Testament that the bread would come from heaven. And he fulfilled that gift when in the Gospel of John he told us that his flesh is true food and his blood is true drink. Of course, it's caused a great deal of consternation among the disciples, not believing that this could be true. What does he mean he can give us his flesh to eat and his blood to drink? And, unfortunately, because they could not accept it, they left. Now, Jesus did not chase after them and try to talk them down, to compromise what he had said to make it sound easier so that they would stay. He simply had to let them go, hopefully to, to ponder their words even more. The apostles, though, not really understanding completely, stayed believing because he had the word of everlasting life, a word that they couldn't comprehend just yet. So much left to be pondered by them after Jesus made these statements and then after he left with his ascension, leaving behind the promise of his flesh and blood in the Holy Eucharist. We too must have the boldness of Jesus Christ who professed that truth, but also the humility of the apostles who we don't understand all of the mysteries of our faith, my gosh. But yet we do believe that Jesus has the words of everlasting life. And therefore his words have power, even though I don't quite understand them yet. But I know through prayer and through pondering, I'll begin to comprehend them more, not fully. But through prayer on these words, God also gives us an increase of faith which is necessary for us to be true followers of Jesus Christ. Not to know him completely, but to love him with all of our heart and mind. Those are the real followers of Jesus Christ. And that's what makes us cling to him and to his words. Pondering an ecumen ecumenical dialogue that is around. We're not called to simply get along. Compromise for the sake of getting along for the sake of peace. That's not ecumenical dialogue. We have to speak our heart, our heart, our truth. The Holy Eucharist is a gift God gave us, truly present in our tabernacles. We share this, though, with love. We want people to be able to taste and see what we taste and see, to love who we love and its true presence here on earth. And that will come, that will come mainly by 
our, our own love for the Eucharist, our time spent in front of the Eucharist, which convicts us to profess it in and among our families and friends, even though they won't understand, even though they may not believe, but we don't, we want them to believe. But it's more important that we simply speak our heart and help people. We speak it with love, with conviction. It will make them ponder, make them ponder. And that's exactly what we need to do. Help people ponder these realities so that they can have literally something to think about. We'll stand, everyone. We'll continue. Lord, before you, we place our prayers. <clears throat> Praying always, as we do, in union with the church around the world, for the unity among Christians, that we will seek the truth in Jesus Christ, come to love him in that truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for um, the gift of life from the moment of conception to a natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, that they may truly embrace truth and justice in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Praying for our parishioners, and hospitals, and nursing homes, for their well-being, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Today's Mass is being offered for Julie and Bill Nagluski for Helda and Wilfred Kroplin, for Joe and Louise Blakovich, and for all of our deceased, that they rest in peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of mercy, we offer our prayers through your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and the bond of charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of your truth so that by the bond of one faith and one baptism, we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations, so that in a wondrous manner, he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. 
And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, of hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection. resurrection. Until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and ministry to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ronald Peter, our Bishop, Joseph, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Grant, grant us, us peace. peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof. but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And over all things put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those who believe in you, one in mind and heart, by the power of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be Thanks to God. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the root of souls. Amen.
As I mentioned yesterday, we'll now take a moment to pray our prayer for the unity of the body of Christ. We're ready. Dear Lord Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, you, you are, are our Prince, Prince of Peace, Peace and you prayed for, for unity in the body of Christ, Christ that, that we, we may be united, united in love just as you are united, united with the Father in love. In love. Give, Give your children the desire to love one, one another as you have loved, loved us, us. And, and let the world know that we are your disciples by our love for one another. Give us a hunger to live in union with each other and may we be united as one in the bond of peace and fellowship in the Spirit. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As I mentioned, tomorrow we will continue with this prayer, but also we will include the Litany of St. Joseph on, as it's Wednesday, a day dedicated to St. Joseph, and we'll continue that throughout the year of St. Joseph. I also, unfortunately, uh, will have to cancel the time of adoration uh, this evening, so if by chance uh, you can pass that word along to others today, that'd be great. Uh, again, so tonight there will not be adoration at 6 o'clock.